look at it. I don't even fit in now. All these Slytherins in their green cloaks, and I'm here just with a skirt. Look at me. They're going to be like, who's the new kid? What's he wearing? Don't worry about me, guys. Don't worry about me. Lumos. Don't worry about Hogsmeade. I had that covered, guys. Right, potions class. Here we go. More than he's letting on about the Goblin Rebellion. Okay. Potions is one of the most challenging and hazardous subjects taught at this school. What am I wearing? As fifth years, you will be required to reach new heights of both discipline and intellect. You will begin this term by brewing a Wigan Weld potion. Wigan Weld. Mr. Takar, can you tell us why this particular potion might come in handy? Yes, Professor Sharp. The Wigan Weld potion can be used to sterilize and even heal a variety of injuries. Nice. It can heal some injuries, but not all. Points for Ravenclaw. Oh. Before today's class is completed, each of you will have brewed a wig and weld potion of your own. Okay. You never know when you might need it. Spend enough time, you won't Please even begin. need the map. Please be go. meticulous when adding powder to your potions. One errant sneeze could be disastrous. This is sick. A little bit of juice, a little bit of juice. Bit of a stir. There we go. I'm nervous. He looks nervous. I see most of you have not forgotten how to stir. Not an easy potion to brew. Well done. Thank and from you. what I hear of your recent exploits in Hogsmeade, you'd also do well to practice brewing the defensive Edurus potion. Professor Weasley had you acquire the recipe from Jay Pippins, correct? Yes, sir. Good. For the moment, you can find the ingredients you need in my office. But in the future, you'll be expected to provide your own ingredients. Okay. Some can be harvested from the plants you grow in your herbology class, and rarer ones can be purchased. Others, however, may be harder to obtain and will require you to be a bit more resourceful. Come and see me when you've finished brewing. And we'll see if it was skill or luck the first time round. My parents considered keeping me home from school this year after the rumors of a goblin rebellion. You don't need to be scared of the goblins, mate. You don't need to be scared. I hear Professor Sharp say that you have permission to go into his office. Yes, Gareth. Gareth Weasley. Why do you want to know, mate? Yes, but why does that matter to you? Brilliant! And it matters because you can be a part of something truly creative. I'm Gareth, by the way. Gareth Weasley. Bit of a prodigy with potions, if I do say so myself. Pleasure to meet you. Wait, are you related to Professor Weasley? She's my aunt. Keeps too close an eye on me for comfort. Ugh. But she can't be everywhere. This guy Listen, sounds like trouble. Anyone with a troll-sized brain can brew an Adurus potion. I'm working on something that's certain to be spectacular. I'm just missing one tiny last ingredient that will add that extra spark. I suspect that's where I come in. You're as clever as I'd hoped. I simply need a single fooper feather, as you'll already be in Sharp's office with his permission. Perhaps you could grab it for me. Uh, I can get you that feather. I'll get you the Fwooper Feather, as long as you're certain Sharp won't miss it. I assure you he won't. Fwooper Feathers aren't that valuable. Wait until you see what I'm brewing. Hurry back to me when you have the feather. Yeah, why not? Let's cause some mischief. Let's cause some mischief. Should not be that color, Miss McDowell. Who's his dad? I don't know. I don't know. That looks rare. It's a bright pink feather. That looks like I've just stolen something valuable. I just won't give it to him. One nil. Fur. What's this? Organ of Burks has increased the amount of activity outside ordinary shop hours, particularly in the wee hours of the night. Suspicious deliveries being made at the shop's back entrance. 
Given what we know of the shop's reputation, we're adding more auras to join those that have already been watching the shop. You are amongst the new additions. Further instructions to follow. Ooh. Okay. Pour some eggs. Is that everything we needed? Oh, what's in there? We're just stealing his stuff. We stole 41 gold coins. Proper thief. Oh, here we go. Your potion station's organized and free of clutter. Hmm. Where's the old, uh... There we go, Gareth. Here's the whopper feather you wanted. Brilliant! Thank you! This is going to take a moment to brew. You should get back to brewing your Adurus potion, and I'll tell you when this concoction's finished. I'm gonna have to dob him in. He... He sounds the dreadful. Potions are two things that cannot be rushed. Have patience and be thorough. Oh, crikey. Uh... What, what am I... What, what am I making here? Uh... Endorus potion. Here we go. We're brewing. Ah, we'll just wait. We'll just wait. Brewing up a storm. No rush, is there? Gives him a durable, rocky skin. Nice. One. And we're done. Boom. Nailed it. Nailed it. What's this? Enhance the drinker's chance of success in their endeavours. Oh, I like the Wigan well, that's nice. This. I need flux weed stems, okay. And now we add the mallow sweet. And that's odd. What's happening? Wait, it's not supposed to. Ah! Oh god, this guy's having a stinker. Get it. Get it. Oh man. What happened? <laughs> well done, Gareth. What now, Mr. Weasley? What a clown. Sorry, Professor. That'll be points from Gryffindor again. <laughs> yeah, Mr. that was worth Weasley it. Weasley did not do this on his own. His accomplice will answer to me as well. Don't know what you're talking about, mate. Professor Sharp said that Wiganwell potion can treat injuries. Hope I never need it. It wasn't me, mate. I brewed an Adurus potion as you asked, Professor. I'm surprised you had the time. You seemed rather busy helping Mr. Weasley brew chaos. Schweppes. I don't know what you mean. I'm not sure what you're talking about, Professor. You will not earn favor with me by failing to take responsibility for your actions. I suggest you heed my warning. I don't know what you're on about, As mate. for the work you did today at your own cauldron, I will say you've done well. Thanks. I confess I was skeptical given the advanced nature of this class and the fact you're a new student. I'm glad I was able to meet your expectations. A rare occurrence. And you do well to remember that you're not a potions master quite yet. In addition to having a solid grasp of how to combine various ingredients, you should gain an understanding of the ingredients themselves. I will indeed. Pay particular attention in herbology. The plants you nurture there are often essential to the potions you brew here. Now, I recommend that you find a safe location in which to practice brewing. You cannot leave a hot cauldron simply anywhere. Okay. That'll be all. Cheers. Right, this guy. Cheers for getting I me in trouble, mate. I think has had enough excitement for one day. Plus Wasn't expecting that literally to blow up in my face. It was rather brilliant, though. Nah, mate, you're... I'd better clean up. You should finish brewing your potion. Nah. That was an interesting class. Thanks to you. Wasn't precisely what I had in mind, but it was still brilliant. I appreciate your help. I hope Sharp wasn't too disagreeable when you handed in your potion. Heard him talking about taking responsibility. You got me in trouble, Gareth. Professor Sharp wasn't happy. Leave me out of your grand plans next time. Sorry to hear that. Hopefully he's already forgotten about it. Sharp may seem gruff, but I'd bet a few galleons he blew up a potion or two in his day. Best be off. Next time we talk, I promise. Fewer explosions. Yeah, screw you, Gareth. I don't want nothing to do with that. Greetings, young Slytherin. Gryffindor. Scrope knows about the old book you found for Professor Feek. Oh, Scrope can help you. 
And you can help Scrope get to the courtyard past the pendulum. If you don't know it, you'll see it easy enough. And don't tell anyone what you're up to, especially Professor Blank. Okay. That doesn't sound dodgy at all. No. I see it. I see it. Scrope knows about the book he found isn't missing some. Scrope does not believe it is safe to speak out in the open. He's left another note across the bridge among the circle of rocks. Scrope? Who is Scrope? Who is Scrope? Oh, this is the bridge. I love this bridge. Doesn't look safe at all, but I love it. What a glorious, glorious place. You know, I mate, your books are just... Like it's loads of owls hanging out here. If you're scared of owls, don't be a wizard. Well, there's another note here, apparently. There it is. Okay, maybe not. Well, I can't get it. Levioso. Levioso? Accio. What? Accio. What are you doing? Oh, I don't know what. Oh, oh. Okay, yeah, yeah. I get you. I get it. There you go. Okay, that makes sense. Almost there. Head for the pumpkins just down from the stone circle. Look inside one of them. You may be able to help poor broken hard scrope. Pumpkins. Ah. Oh. I think I know just the place. Hmm. This doesn't feel like a trap at all, does it? Insidious Magic, how's it going, man? How you doing, dude? Thanks for coming in. Thanks for coming in. I'm the worst dressed student with the worst hairline in the whole of Hogwarts. But I'm literally the best wizard that's ever lived. What's happening, man? Yeah, I'm doing good, dude. I'm doing good. There's a chicken. Right. That'll learn him. What's the scarecrow doing? Right. Pack it in. Do I have to destroy these? Oh, I don't want to destroy all of the pumpkins. Apparently we're destroying all of them. I feel like I'm a real unnecessary mess here. Oh, there we go. We'll leave a couple. The young Slytherin must be exceptionally caught curious by now. Meet Scrope at the water's edge by the broken docks. Down to the water's edge? Hmm. This sounds... This better not be a trick. Yeah, this sounds like a trap. I don't think we should be doing this. Just following old notes. Yeah, it's all right, man. It's, it, I mean, it's beautiful. Look at it. It's amazing. It truly is amazing. But I feel like I'm about to walk right into a trap of, a, of an old little goblin guy. Oh, what is this? Well, this looks like a trap. This looks really dodgy. There's no one here either. We're meant to be meeting this little guy and he's not here. Oh, God. Oh, there he is. You are right, mate? <coughs> Thank you for coming all this way. You're welcome. The, the name's Scrope. Scrope serves the headmaster. I've been in the Black family for years. Apologies for the abundance of notes. Scrope wanted to be sure you weren't followed. What's this all about? Your notes mentioned the book I found in the restricted section. Scrope can tell you more in exchange for your help, but no one, especially the headmaster, can know. That sounds dodgy. Happy to undermine authority if it benefits me. Undermining the headmaster and getting something in return. Slytherin. Continue. Oh, Scrope does not intend to undermine the headmaster. In fact, Scrope wants to surprise him. Scrope's late mistress, Apollonia Black, 
May she rest in peace. Uh, was a student at Hogwarts uh, over 50 years ago. Before she died, she spoke with passion of pages ripped from a book. Scrope suspects she took them to her private grotto. She was delirious at the end, poor thing. Mistook Belladonna for elderberries. <laughs> Scrope tried to warn her. I'm sorry to hear that. But how do you benefit if I find the pages? Scrope believes that a treasured black family ring is also in the grotto. Scrope wishes to give it to the headmaster. Dragon Apollonia Blanc, forbade Scrope from entering the grotto long ago. Uh, Scrope continues to honor her wishes. Scrope would not dare ask a student for help. But when Scrope learned you were looking for those pages, Scrope thought you might also find the ring. Hmm. How did you know about the book I found How then? did you know that I'd found a book and that it's missing pages? Scrope and the other house elves are good at staying out of sight. Scrope hears and sees many things in the castle. Scrope knows how to keep secrets. Tell me about the ring Tell then. Tell me more about this treasured ring. Oh, it's adorned with the black family crest. The headmaster would be pleased with Scrope for returning it. How did you injure your ear? The blacks have a tradition of decapitating their house elves when their service is no longer required. Wow. One day, dear Apollonia was understandably frustrated with Scrope and got a bit too eager with a cleaver. Oh my Scrope God. was able to convince the sweet girl of his value and now views this small injury as a reminder of her good heart. Mental. It seems this may help us both. Um, I shall do it. Scrope is relieved. Scrope hoped the young Slytherin would be willing to help. Take this toast to the grotto just down the coast and place it on the pedestal there. Good luck. Scrope will wait right here for you. Best of luck finding your pages and the ring. All right, mate. Cheers. I've actually got some toast. Okay. Let's just go and put some toast over here. What the hell is that? All right, well, let's investigate the grotto. Gonna ruin me nice robe. Huh? Schweppes. Oh, Schweppes. Oh, my good lord. Boom. Right in the kisser. Deck this thing. There's nothing else I can use. Here, yeah, there is. Oh, as if I just killed that. I am an app. I am literally the greatest wizard. I've got a dug bog tongue. Holy cow! I feel like I've just. I feel like I'm fighting above my level. Oh, Schweppes, there's loads. Let me <sighs> Nothing. Instantly. There you go. Yeah, he's dead. Incendio. Schweppes! Oh my good lord, I'm dead. Right, now I'm not. Now we're good. Holy smokes. That was that was mental tough. That was crazy tough. There's another one. Tripping balls. What's he doing? Well this escalated. We got him! We got him! Incendio! Boom. Alright. We're relying heavily on Incendio at the moment. Well, that's pretty much the best attack we've got. But we just took out, like, some dug bogs. If that's what they're called. Whatever they are. Just took out, like, five of them. I feel like we've stepped the upper level. We've gone from dueling students to fighting actual giant toad dragons. Oh my god, what is this? 
Why would I need a piece of toast? I suppose that's where it goes. I'm just going to stick a bit of toast on it. Oh, nuts. It's eaten. What? That's a mosaic of a squid, and it just ate the toast. To the grotto. In the grotto. Could it be a visitor? That's just a head. Oh god. Oh. Ah. Oh. <laughs> ah. All right, Richard. The name's Richard Jackdaw. I was a student, just like you, about a century ago. How in the world did you find this place? What a house elf named Scrope sent here. Said I might find a black family ring here. Ah. Sorry to say I sold the ring a long time ago. Poor Scrope. Still holds a candle for Apollonia, I reckon. Can't say I blame him. I stole all these treasures just to impress her. Alas, it was to no avail. I thought a secret map I pilfered from Peeves would pique her interest. But she simply rolled her eyes. What would I want with yellowed old pages torn from a book? Not my finest moment. Okay. Can I have them? I'd like to have those pages if you don't mind. They're not here. I thought if Apollonia wasn't interested in the map on the pages, perhaps it would lead to something that would intrigue her. So, I followed the map to what I can only describe as an enchanted cave of some kind. And... You see what happens next. Here's an idea. Why don't you meet me at the edge of the Forbidden Forest, and I'll show you where to find the pages. Uh... Why the toast? Why did I need the toast to get in here? Oh, that was Apollonia's idea. Seems some squids love toast. They should have taught you that at Hogwarts. That is the most mental thing I've ever known. Squids like toast. There you go. Heard it here first. Things have seriously got pretty wild. Um, how did you lose I your I think head? I could guess how you died, but who did it to you? I was having a look around when I suddenly sensed a refreshing breeze. After that, I felt, well, lightheaded. That's all I remember. Hence, if you do visit the cave, be prepared. I can't tell you what for specifically, but you seem a perceptive sort. Beware a light breeze. Beware a light breeze. How was it possible to steal from Peeves, a poltergeist? I didn't steal the pages from his ghostly form. I merely found them in his wake of destruction. He has a penchant for wrecking things. Books, bottles, suits of armor. Whatever's sure to cause the most chaos. He dropped them after a particularly aggressive romp through the library. Oh, I hate Peeves. I hate that I ghost. suppose if that's the only way for me to get those pages, I'll meet you at the forest. I'm sure the pages are still tucked in my waistcoat. If you don't mind the sight of a, well, my decapitated skeleton, they're yours for the taking. Thanks, mate. I think. Wonderful. I'm just going to steal this stuff. Oh. 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 Light the candles. Okay. Hmm, a map. It doesn't appear to be connected to the missing pages. Best hang on to it for now. Hmm, an interesting map. Okay. Okay. Out we go. Out we go. Another day. I need to get some sleep. I need to go to my common room. I just haven't been there. All the uh, other students are just going to assume I've left. I've left. I don't know why I said that twice. Look at that little fire up there on the hill. Kind of want to explore that. Swim. Swim, man. Coming back, Stroop. Coming back. 
Coming back, coming back. Come on, mate. Get going. Let's go. Dry off. Go on, shake all that, shake all that water off. Stroke, you're just hanging out on a wet beach, mate. Are you all right? Hello, Scrope. Thanks to Scrope. you, I was able to enter Apollonia's Grotto. The toast was the key. I met a ghost there, Richard Jackdaw, who's agreed to lead me to the pages I've been looking for. Oh, that boy was never good enough for Apollonia. Oh, what of the Black Family Ring? I'm sorry to say that Jackdaw sold it long ago. Sad news indeed. Scrope shall need to think of another way to impress the headmaster. Mm. Well, Scrope takes some consolation in knowing that the young Slytherin found what they needed. I did. Thank you again, Scrope. You're a credit to house elves. <laughs> Cheers, Scrope. See you later. I'll keep an eye out for the ring, mate. I can't promise I will give it to you, though, because I am indeed a Slytherin. Kind of, you know, kind of got my own back. Go on. Yeah, we'll sneak in. Yeah. There you go. Skip to the day. Just going to stand in front of her for 12... Just sat down on the floor in front of her for 12 hours. Hi, miss. Professor, I wondered, did you attend Hogwarts? I did. I am a proud member of Ravenclaw House. Loser. Why do you ask? I was curious as to how Hogwarts has changed over the years. I see. Well, the castle itself, as I'm sure you have surmised, is full of surprises. I dare say more than the staircases change around here. Hmm. As for the students, Good well, banner. they seem to get more capable every year. Although, we got up to just as much mischief in my day as you seem to now. I used to look the other way at all sorts of roguery when I was head girl. I can tell you, however, that I did once admonish a certain Phineas Nigellus Black for enjoying a sugar quill during a lecture. Uh, I, I hadn't realized that you and Professor Black were, uh, students here together. <laughs> Appearances can be deceiving. You see, I was once wounded by time itself. Huh? I'm not sure what that means. But it sounds horrible. Ah, well, it was the risk I took with my prior position. You may you all may not have heard that I was an unspeakable at the Ministry for years. An unspeakable? An unspeakable? What does... Ah! As you might suspect, I cannot speak about what we did. Suffice it to say, the job no was worries. not without its hazards. Now, I hope I've satisfied your curiosity for the moment. You have. Thank you for speaking with me, Professor. Keep up with your wand work. One must always be prepared for mischief, both inside and outside of the castle. Okay. I thought we were attending Defense Against the Dark Arts class. Is that not... I thought that's what we were here for. Wait, where the hell are we going then? Oh, okay. There we go. Not bad, guys, not bad. She's buzzing, isn't she? Look at my stupid robes, what do I look like? Good lesson, that. Miss, that was a great lesson. I hope Thanks. You're able to take care of everything. Professor, I completed all of your most recent assignments. Well done. Then you're ready to learn Expelliarmus. Pay close attention. The disarming charm may often be all you need to defeat the most powerful dark witches and wizards you might encounter. All right. Spellcasting requires a focused mind and a steady wand. Boom. Boom. Expelling on this. Good work. The dummy is here if you wish to stay in practice. Thanks. Where is it? There it is. Expelling. 
Expelliarmus. You seem to have the right end of the stick, but keep nice. practicing. Expelliarmus may save your life one day. Yeah, I've got it. Nailed it. Nailed it. Thank you, miss. Absolutely nightmare fuel. Oh, what's up? I really have made a mess of things. Somehow. Is everything all right? Oh, hello. Thank you for asking. I'm Cressida, by the way. And I'm afraid everything's not all right. I may be in a spot of trouble with the librarian. Oh, dear. You see, I'm fond of creating my own charms. Thought I'd perfected my light as a feather charm to use on my library books. My arms get so tired carrying them around all day. But I must have confused the Latin word for feather with bird in my incantation. Because when I opened my bag just now in the library, they literally took flight. Boom. Seems like a lot of work just to that carry books. That sounds a rather complicated way to simply avoid carrying your books. Possibly. But where's the fun in simplicity? New charms and spells have to come from someone. Why not me? I collect the books and remove the charm myself. Except this isn't the first time one of my charms has threatened the peace of the library. Our meat told Madame Scribner they were my books flying around. So she said that if I caused her any more trouble, she'd write to my parents. Unlucky. Perhaps you could get them for me. There are only five. She won't be suspicious of a new student mm. looking around. Uh... What did he tell on you? Why did Army tell Madame Scribner that they were your books? Oh, to be perfectly honest, I don't think he meant any harm. I think he was impressed, bragging on my behalf. Amit spends a lot of time gazing at the stars, but he knows a good charm when he sees one. I suppose I could help, if I have the time. Oh, I'd very much appreciate it. One of the books is my diary. I'd rather it not fall into the wrong hands. If you could collect them and bring them to me, I can remove the charm. Maybe. Maybe, Cressida Bloom. Maybe. I ain't gonna promise anything. Incendio. Look at that. Let's go. Smashed it. You alright, guys? It's very serious up here. Very serious corner of Hogwarts. Oh, this is the library. I'm oh. going to have to use Akio to get to those books. Got it. Only four more to go. Oh, is that what... Oh, we'll quickly collect them. I didn't realise it was just here. We may as well. I'll keep the diary, Akio. though. Shouldn't be so careless. There's one in there. This must be Cressida's diary. I'd want this back too if I were her. Today was a good day. That is until Gareth splashed whatever ridiculous concoction he was creating all over my perfectly stewed lacewing flies. He's such a menace. Think he knows everything there is to know about potions always disrupting the class. I'm only convinced that if he wasn't Professor Weasley's nephew. Yeah, he's a Muppet. Again tonight for dinner, I'm becoming more partial to them, although I still prefer meat pie. What? There's still more? Oh, I'll have to go and find the others, isn't we? God. That diary isn't that bad, but I will give it back. Now I know she doesn't like Weasley, because that Weasley guy is an absolute buffoon. Can't stand him. He's trouble. You son of a biscuit. Got away from me. Come back. That's the last right. book. Now to take them back to Cressida. I know she's a Gryffindor, but I think me and Cressida could be friends because we both dislike old Muppet Weasley. Did you cook it in air fryer or just reheat it? I think you can cook pretty much anything in an air fryer, can't you? Sharjay lives on her air fryer. Money. Lovely. I'll just keep finding money and just taking it. Apparently, that's okay. Listen, Chris, Chris, listen up. You'll be good. Hello, You'll be Cressida. happy to hear. I collected your books, including your diary. Oh, 
What a relief. Thank you. You're welcome. I'll happily take the heavy lot off your hands now. Uh, perhaps a reward to keep the... Nah. Here you are. Well, lesson learned. I certainly won't be practicing any charms in the library again anytime soon. Now, to work out where I went wrong. Perhaps I should start brushing up on my Latin. Struthio. Thank goodness some people are trustworthy. Certainly wouldn't want anyone but me reading my diary. Struthio, I believe, is Latin for ostrich. I think garlic puts that venom to the There you go. You learned something today. I'm really, 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 really racking my brain. Like, I have to... Well, I have to actually think really hard. <laughs> like, I don't know if that makes sense, but, like, I have to really... Lots of Latin double entrons in the head. Yeah, there are. There are. There are. Well, this is the edge of the Forbidden Forest. Yeah, I have to really think hard to try and remember any. Um... What the hell is this? That that would get annoying, wouldn't it? Said that travel broadens the mind. Crikey. Forbidden forest. We're not meant to go in here then, are we? Pretty sure we're not meant to go in here. Yeah, I'm trying to think of more that I know. And I can't... Caution, centaurs, frogs sold here. Whoever put this is not funny. There's loads of little ground birds. Oh, they look like chickens, but they kind of don't look like chickens. Dangerous, Ministry of Magic. I don't think we should be here. Oh god. There's dangerous killer frogs here. I'll tell you what we're gonna do. I'll tell you what we'll do. Watch this. We're gonna we're gonna use this. He doesn't know where, where we are. We're just gonna sneak through. Nailed it. I ain't fighting giant killer frogs if I don't have to. Oh, look at that! There's deer! Holy cow! It's like a nature reserve, this. What's that up there? That's a female deer. Look at this. I mean, that is not the coolest hat. But, oh, look at me. Look at me strutting through the Forbidden Forest. Absolute warrior. I'm stoked. I'm stoked that I found a hat. Right, Jackdaw. Where, where, where are we? What are you saying, sir? Oh my god. I've here waited I it. am. As good as my word. I've been here all day, mate. I've been here all day. I forgot you're a ghost as well. As if I've waited all day. Of course I have. You're a ghost. We meet again, Richard Jackdaw. I suppose I shouldn't be surprised to see you. It took the cunning of a Slytherin to track down these pages. It has indeed. Well said. Now where do we go from here? Follow me. I shall lead you as far as I can, but I fear I may remain a tad reluctant to revisit the scene of my demise. Keep your eyes open for a birdbath. When you find it, say Inframuros. I think it's Latin. Or Greek. There we go. As you can imagine, I never paid much attention in school, Shall we? Okay. I'll follow you, Jack. Aside from the bird bath, anything else I should look for? Indeed. A few landmarks. A stone bridge, a waterfall, and, if I recall, a lake. You'll see. You've been very helpful. Thank you. Well, I'm gonna I'm just gonna equip this, because Lumos. This is terrifying. 
the Forbidden Forest is surprising how much of this is rather unfortunately coming back to me. I'm not sure this is a good idea. Oh, nuts. Hmm. Yes. You know, the closer we get, the more I'm remembering. Probably best I leave you to it. Simply Cheers. stick to the path and keep a sharp eye out for that bird bath. Adieu. Is that Latin? Or Greek? Hmm. All right, I'm on my own then. This does not look good. Lumos. Nothing to do now but keep going. Yeah, we shouldn't be here. We should not be here. It is dark as balls. Oh my god, look at all these signs. Could they make this any clearer? Over there, danger. Turn back. Oh, God. I don't think we should go over here, if I'm honest. Where's this bird bath then? The waterfall. For a thief, Jackdaw's surprisingly as good as his word. Oh, there's a. Oh, what's this? Leeches. Oh, toadstools. Oh, there's a creature. What is this? Oh, nuts. What is that? I shouldn't go down here. But I can't help myself. Is that? Is that a moving? I can't see what it is. Oh, it's a puff scheme. What's a puff scheme? What's that? I want to catch it. Accio. Come here. Can I catch it? No, apparently not. Okay. There's some deer. Oh God, I can't catch the puff scheme. Back to the mission at hand. Lumos. We are. I should not be in here. This is. This is dangerous. Something oddly solemn about this place. Yeah, this is such quite... regal creatures, stags. I mean, this is lovely. Stags everywhere and. Yeah, this is this is lovely. There's a bird buff. Is that the bird buff? There it is. Just as Jackdaw described. Intramuros. <gasps> Intramur into intramuros. Intramuros. Oh my god. You a little far from home. Oh, shit. Remember, I'll you'd eventually lead us to whatever it is you're hiding. <laughs> oh, nuts. Oh, nuts. Incendium. Is that the best you can do? No, that's embarrassing, isn't it? <laughs> oh, nuts. Yeah, that's what you get. That's what you get. No risk those loyalists will report back to Ranrock now. Schweppes. Let's see Schweppes. where Jackdaw has led me. Oh, man. That was actually tough. I'm so... Oh, now they give me a friggin' wing weld potion. Where's the other guy gone, then? I defeated three of them. I don't know where he went. Right. Now we can take this silly green hat off because I've just... 
We've gone all this time with no hats. But now, now, now we have gear. Look at this. Look at this. Oh my good lord. Cracked. Look at that. Is that a feather in your hat, sir? You better believe it. Llama, how's it going, dude? How you doing, man? How you doing? I hope you're doing well, sir. hope you're doing well. Investigate the cave where Jack Dor died. I'm going in. I'm nervous. I know on the surface I look calm and ready. Oh, God, look at me. I look like a friggin' poet. I wonder how big this place is. Find the missing pages. Well, we're in now. We're in now. Oh, God, what is this? Shoot the symbol, but it doesn't stay lit for long. Louder. Louder. Not a problem. Impressive. That must be where all this leads. I'm not sure I should be going down here by myself. A ghost led me here. I've just killed three goblins and now I should be in I should be in class. I'm pretty sure I should be in potions class. I should Someone not be. Someone didn't want casual visitors down here. I should not be down here. Oh my god, look at the so I wonder if any of my spells will help me through this. Incendio. Oh man, that is such a big web. Oh, Schweppes. Oh, nuts. You're kidding. What the hell is this? Look at the size of these things! This is not a safe place to be. Incendio. Oh, it's too close! Get away! Set that one on fire. Oh, maybe not. Born back shooter. Yeah, done him. All right. Potato. I didn't mean to do that. All right, potato. Ugh. Shame you're so foul. Shame you're so foul. Is that it? Perhaps the next. Hidden somewhere. Hey, where's the third one? Ah! Oh, behind the rock. There's the symbol. Boom. Yes! Alright, we're flying. Remarkable. We shouldn't be here. We shouldn't be here. This is the problem. We are we are in a deep, deep tunnel of mist. Just, we shouldn't be here. Last day off, drop names off for this day. Oh. Oh, that sucks, man. Is that it now until... Oh! Is that a little one? It's crawled right over me head. Oh, sh oh my God, there's loads. If they don't fight, if they don't give me any grief, then I guess I should just leave them be. There's so many of them, though. This is awful. What an awful place. Money. An untouched chest. Jackdaw wasn't very thorough in his search of this cave. No, I don't think Jackdaw's been here, mate. I think this is a stitch up. I think we've been. I think we've been had. 
It's a good thing Jack Daw didn't fall down there. Spiders. Oh my god, that's a hell of a drop. Whoa. I don't know what way we're going. Here. I think we're going this way. Oh, nuts. Come on, dash sweats. Sometimes you just need to know that it's over. Oh, oh sweats! There's loads of them. They're coming out of the walls, man. There you go. Oh, nuts! The bridge, it's almost complete. More spiders. Oh, sweat. Not more spiders. Let me go, I just gotta keep moving. That's all there is to it. Holy smokes, I don't know how I did that. <gasps> oh, you're joking. Oh, come on. This feels a little unfair, doesn't it? Incendio. Oh, skip over! Accio. Incendio. Go on, get him, get him, get him! He's basically dead! Right. Okay, is that it? One more. Let me also. Incendio. Accio. Schweppes. Incendio. Schweppes. Accio. This guy is ridiculous. Imagine oh my god, like that was actually. This way. That was actually so tough. I don't know why that was so, so difficult. I'll just collect some plants. That was. That was mental. Not a headless skeleton in sight. Gear slots but are full. I may as well help myself to this. I can't collect any more gear. <laughs> right, where's the other? Ah. Oh. There we go. Oh man. Okay, over this bridge. Here we go. Where's the hell is this guy's Must head? Must be getting closer to Jack Daw's remains and those pages. Here we, we go meet again, Richard Jack Daw. Thank you for keeping these pages safe. We're gone. Years. Here it is, the map that brought your doom, Jack Daw. Hmm. Is there something beyond this room? Oh, nuts. 